Now here you can see that we are planning and drawing all our sprayers by ourselves in our local office. Hello, my name is Aaron. I'm the export sales manager from a meter company in Italy. Near beside me stands Mitter Mitter Hermann, the owner of this company. So basically, the Mitter company was founded in 1909 by his grandfather. So the company is more than 100 years old. Um, we are here in front of our main sprayer. It's the most, the most popular sprayer sold in South Tyrol for orchards. And um, now I will talk a little bit with Mr. Hermann about the sprayer. So, when Sie kurz sagen, kann er den seit wann wir auf Pflanzenschutz Stefanik haben und wie er zu Anfang hat? Also, wir haben 1953 angefangen mit Sprüher und haben mit kleinen Mengen angefangen, haben einen guten Fliegen, der war viel Luftleitung und wenig Kraft drauf, haben inzwischen alles So the, the technique of this blower is very innovative. So uh, from left to right side, from the top and the bottom, it's, it has the equal air flow. So you have um, the minimum drift on your orchard that you can reach. So um, basically we will talk about all the components about our sprayer. So when it's put on, what sign and it's a spear, name pump and real back, so what and it's a soft and it's a real back. And the pump is So we are here in front of our blower and this blower is fully galvanized, a cross flow blower for orchards which are about um, 4.5 meters high. It's obviously also um, good for, for trees which are not that high but normally it goes um, maximum 4.5 meters, 5 meters. Das hat den Vorteil, dass die Luftform gleich rein ist und hinten kein Luft angesaugt werden kann mehr, weil hinten ist geschlossen. Und dann haben wir die, die Luftverteilung perfekt, links und rechts gleichmäßig. Das ist unser Vorteil. Und die Düsen haben wir als erste außen angebracht. Nicht im Kanal, sondern vor dem Kuss. Then, um, as you can see here, we have blower guards on the blower that can be closed manually, electrically, or also by the um, by the tractor from the oil system. So next, we have um, all components on the blower are very simple to use it. If, for example, you want to change a tube or a hose, there are quick cuttings on it, and you can change it. I don't. Um, I think in a minute. Okay. Next of all, our air outlet. That was tested on an air bench. So, as maybe I already said, from, uh, from top to bottom to left to right, we have the same, uh, the same air outlet. Then, based on the heights of the trees, you can also adjust this inner plate. So, when you put it down, you can reach to 3.5 meters. When you open it, the airflow will reach to 4.5 meters. So, the next one is our fan, which is made from metal, which has a lot of 
advantages compared to a plastic fan, for example. It um, has low diesel consumption and it's really low noise. Um, next point is that the, the air outlet is very equal. So um, in the past we found out that with one of our sprayers compared to other sprayers you need less treatments. So maybe with another sprayer you make 15 treatments, with this treatments you make 10 treatments because the air outlet is really precise and, and, and really good compared to the plant. Okay. So this is our new draw bar. It's at the moment the most sold draw bar on our sprayers. So basically you can change this draw bar from a rigid fixed draw bar to a steering draw bar with just one move. Just pull out the bolt, put the whole draw bar in front and put the bolt back inside the hole. So you see, now it's a steering draw bar. And when you put it back, it will be a fixed draw bar. So maybe when you go on the street, there is a fixed draw bar. Of course, you have to adjust first before the first use you have to adjust these nuts and the screws. So next one is our control unit. You can choose from a normal standard control unit to an electric control or also a computer. This is our switch box which you can put on the tractor and then you can close and open the nozzles and put your pressure on on top or, or to the bottom of the whole sprayer. This is our tank level indication. This indicates digitally the pressure and the tank level. These, for example, are solenoid valves, but you can also have motorized valves. This is the electric pressure regulator, which will be regulated by the switch on the switch box. This one is a self-cleaning pressure filter, so you don't have to clean your filter because it cleans itself every minute. Okay. Then you have the possibility to choose from different onboard computers. With this computer, you just put in how much liter per hectare you want to bring out on your ore charge based on the width of the road and on the speed you're driving. So if you're speeding, um, if you're going with the tractor and the sprayer faster or slower, the computer always regulates the output of the nozzles. So this at the end um, will save you a lot of money because at the end of your treatments there will be no liquid remaining in the tank.